What's up techies? I've got the OtterBox commuter and defender cases for the Google Pixel XL. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. These are definitely cases people like to look for. So let's go over some of the pros and cons about these cases. To get things going, let's go over the Defender Series case first because, well, that's what I got on the Pixel already. It does have this really nice cutout for the fingerprint sensor and it really helps locate it in the back. It's very comfortable to use and it's very accurate. It doesn't get in the way of the fingerprint sensor at all. You can do the gestures and everything. So it's really cool that they did that. I really like that little slanted edge right here. These are definitely recessed cutouts for their fingerprint sensor and also the camera cutout with the LED light and the sensors here in the back as well. Which that does definitely help at that level of protection to where the camera's not going to get damaged, the fingerprint sensor's not going to get damaged because if it does like have any kind of impact on the back, you're going to have that kind of protection. It's really not going to get touched at all. And you'll notice that any kind of cutout there is on the Defender case that it's going to be recessed as far as the cutouts goes. you got the speakers here at the bottom and you have a port cover for your USB connection. And it's a really good thing that this has a dust port cover because the Google Pixel is not dust or water resistant. So you're going to get that nice protection here at the bottom. Now one of my biggest gripes is that if the buttons are hard to press with the case, I'll more than likely not use the case. But the buttons are actually really nice and tactile. There's a little bit hesitancy or stiffness with the button press, but it's not enough to get on my nerves. Up at the top, much like the bottom, you have a port cover for the headphone jack. You are definitely going to notice that it's raised above the screen, and that's a good thing because it gives that ultimate protection against any kind of drops. Because if you drop it on the sides, the back, the front, anywhere on this, you're going to get that really nice level of protection because this thing is super thick. You've got a cutout for your camera on the front and also just a cutout right here for your sensor and also your speaker. The rest of it is going to be protected, this top edge here, with a nice hard panel. Now you could almost nickname this as like a chin guard that you see with football helmets and such because you know you got this big old chin down here and regardless it is going to be protected because of this hard panel down here at the bottom. The Defender Series has a built-in screen protector and it's been okay. It's really... It's nothing changed like what we've seen with the Defender Series cases with these built-in screen protectors. I'm personally not a big fan of it. You can kind of get used to it. You're not going to get that glass feel that I prefer when I'm touching the screen. Whether it's a tempered glass screen protector like I prefer or just a naked foam, there's just no glass feeling anymore because you get that plastic feel. There's a little bit of an air pocket between the screen protector and the screen itself, but that's because there's a bubbled edge on this phone and pretty much all devices these days comes with that bubbled edge. So it's almost nearly impossible with these built-in screen protectors to be completely flush against the screen. Over time, it will get a little bit closer and easier to use. As far as functionality goes, I'm able to swipe across the screen without much effort, like just as if the screen protector wasn't there. I'm able to access pretty much every corner of the device as well, so that's really good. As far as typing goes, it really does add a little bit more extra effort than what you might be used to, but it is responsive. So if I just started typing whatever, saw the Gators won today against LSU, that was such a nail-biter game. So go Gators, <laughs> that was uh, an exciting game. But anyways, like just navigating around, there's not been much of an issue as far as functionality goes with the built-in screen protector. Now the fun thing with the Defender OtterBoxes is that it is a chore to try to get these on and off. This is a tool that OtterBox ought to include in their kits with the Defender Series because it is really difficult to get this off. What I ended up having to do is get this pick here and just kind of pry off these little areas here. They're like little snaps that you got to lift up on and they're just very difficult to get to. Like I actually injured my fingernail area <laughs> the first time I put this on just trying to get this off. You can really see how this is almost a necessity to have just to get this thing off. Now. With that said, you're not going to want to take this case on and off a bunch because once it's on there, you're just going to let it be. Now let's talk about the Commuter Series, which is actually one of my favorite case series by OtterBox. The best combination of protection is getting a case like this and then a tempered glass screen protector. The inner layer is this nice rubber material and it's got all kinds of protection along it. I just really like the Commuter Series a lot better. You got the hard shell that goes on the outside. You're going to want to take both of these apart when you go to install the case. To install this one, all you got to do is just get this on in, just like any other kind of style case. Fold over the edges, make sure they're all there, nice and snug. Once you get all nice and snug, what I like to do is just to kind of start towards the top or the bottom.
All right, and that's what you gotta do to get this all installed. So once you start to get the hard shell over, what you wanna do is just kinda massage the edges on in, and that'll help get everything lined up the way it needs to go. Much like the Defender series, you got cutouts for your speakers and also your ports, but the ports are gonna have those covers just like you see on the Defender case, along with the headphone jack. You're not gonna get as recessed of a cutout for your fingerprint sensor or the camera, but it still has that nice little shape here to where it has a nice slide on in to the fingerprint sensor and it really makes it nice and accessible. It's very comfortable to use, just like the Defender series. Now one of the differences that I discovered while using this is that the buttons are a little bit tougher to press and that kind of gets on my nerves just a little bit. It's not terrible and it's something that you could probably get used to, but it definitely needs to be more tactile. The power button is worse than the volume rockers. One of the differences here is that you're not going to have that panel across the top and the bottom, so it's fully exposed, and that's why I suggest getting a tempered glass screen protector. If you need a suggestion, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But I like this a lot more because the hard shell is on the outside, which makes it more pocketable. It slides in and out of the pocket a lot easier. If you like belt clips, the Defender series is going to be the one to get because you're not going to be able to get that with the Commuter series. The belt clip is hard and industrial strength, so you're going to get some really nice quality out of this. And they actually warranty these things, so if this does break, you can just claim a warranty and you'll be able to get a new one sent to you. It's got a nice big clip for most belt sizes as well. Let me know down in the comments which case that you prefer. Do you like the commuter over the Defender or vice versa? Let me know the reasons why. I like the commuter series better than the Defender, not saying that this isn't a good case. This is definitely one of those cases that you want to get if you need the most protection possible. But I will add that you get really good protection, pretty much just as good as protection, using the Commuter Series with the Tempered Glass Screen Protector. Plus, the Tempered Glass Screen Protector just feels better than that built-in screen protector. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, share this with your favorite social networks, as I really appreciate it when you guys do that. And until then, stay techy.